fellow Sudokans and welcome to Zen and the Art of the Guardian Sudoku Puzzle. It's Friday the 18th of November 2022 and I hope you are keeping very well. Uh, it's gone, well it's kind of just mid, middle of lunchtime I suppose, in the middle of lunch uh, here in Bangkok and I'm getting to play the Guardian uh, Sudoku puzzle, which I normally play early in the morning, but I was working this morning, didn't have chance to, and so I shall get on with this game now. Uh, um, uh, fortunately for me, I've got uh, the rest of the day, hopefully without um, work, um, since uh, I, my scheduled work has been cancelled for the day, so I should have more time to play Sudoku. I've dropped the cat off at the hospital after playing hide and seek uh, with a cat this morning. Um, not a fun way though. Be the thing is that the cat actually knows when he has to go to hospital. His physical health gets to a point. I mean, I give him saline every day and medicine every day. I look after him every day, but uh, and of course, cook his fresh chicken, etc., etc. <laughs> but um, uh, it just his health just deteriorates to the point where he has to go to the hospital, and he knows it. He absolutely knows it. He knew it yesterday, and he was, he's kind of been hiding since yesterday. He was hiding today, but I managed to grab him and. Uh, Give him his saline and stick him in the crate to <laughs> pack him off to the hospital. The uh, plastic um, um, basket to take him off to the animal hospital, and I'll collect him in a few hours' time after his ordeal. It really is an ordeal for him, poor thing. Too, I have so much sympathy for the poor thing. Um, there's a lot going on in politics, but no time to talk about it now. I will talk about it in another video, though. Right? Let's get on with this game. I can certainly see something. Uh, maybe the not, not the most direct thing. Oh, I can see something direct as well. Let's get on with the direct thing first. Okay, we got ones blocking. A strange shape, this one, isn't it? Did you notice? Very weird layout on this Guardian Sudoku. Strange, very unusual, like a like a stripe, diagonal stripe there or something. Uh, one fits into this square here. Okay, we've got four blocking down here and four across here. That puts four into one of these two squares. Blocking across, blocking across. And this four blocking these two square. This would be a four here. Seven blocking these two squares and then a seven blocking up here. So that puts a seven there. two and five blocking this square and we need one two and five across this row so that's our one We have two blocking up here like this. So two has to be in one of these two squares. Now that will block across here, right? Forbidding everything up there. And uh, therefore, this two blocking those two squares in this column, that must be our two. And now we can get the last number in this row, which is a five. Five blocking down here, puts a five into one of these two squares, blocking down and five across. We get our five there. Uh, six blocking down like so and across and across and up here we can get a six
we have one blocking this square so one fits up here and the last number to get here is a f is a nine Um, I think I'm going to just go through the digits one by one and see what I can see. Oh, okay, of course, because there's two blocks up here, so this is two in one of those squares. So the two and the five block across here, so we have a pair of two and five up here. Uh, that means the three blocks up here, so three is in one of those squares blocking along, and that must be a three. This is 2 and 5, so up here we've got 3, we've got 7, and we've got 6. We have an 8 blocking across here, so here's the location of 8 and 9 finishes the column. We have 8s across this row, 8s across this row, so there's the eight in that block we have seven blocking across here so that puts seven in one of these two squares so we'll extend those two rows across and the seven down here so there's our seven. We have one blocking this square and one blocking this square. So in this row, that's where the one must live. And then one across here, one across here, and one up here, placing a one there, which is our first completed digit. Two blocks this square here for this row. That's where the two will be then. And we'll finish with a five that row five blocking here so here's a five this will be a three three blocking across here here's our three two blocking up here so here's the two the last number to get there I think is a nine nine going up here and nine across here so here's our nine um, can we finish nines no we can't because we've still got nines for those okay On the other hand, though, we can say three across here and three down here, so that's going to put a three into that square there. Four blocks this square, so in this column, that's where the four must go. And to finish off, I think we need an eight. And of course, this will be a two over here, two, excuse me, over here. As I did say before, two and five blocking over there. 
what's left? This was nine and something. Nine and eight, I guess. What do we know about eight? Anything interesting? Um, maybe not. So where do we go now? Fives are there. Seven. Okay, so I see the five blocking across these two rows, and I see seven blocking across these two rows. So I do know that these two squares can only contain five or seven. Um... Okay, so that leaves these two, the this square and this square with eight or nine, because this was eight or nine, wasn't it, here? So that has to be matching. So the nine here is going to put an eight into that square, and a nine there, and an eight there, like so. Then eight across here, eight down these two columns, and I forgot that row there. Let's add that. We get ourselves an eight there. And uh, we still know this is five and seven, right? Um, let's see, what else do we need to know? Threes, three, four, six. Uh, okay, up here we've got four blocking across, so that's our four, four blocks down here. Here's our four, this is our six. Six blocks up here, that's our six. The last number to get there is an eight. Um, just little bits to go now, right? Not much more left on the on the grid. Uh, where should we go? Three, I see. Nines. Nines looks the most likely. Nine blocking down like so. Nine across, nine across. Here's our nine. And uh, two blocking here and two blocking here and two blocking up there. So that's the two in that column. Now we're just left with... Um, five I think to finish the row five blocking down here five across here here's our five five down five across and five across so five here now we said seven five and seven didn't we so let's do that sevens we've got across here as well there's our seven seven then up and up and away in there three blocking up here here's our three Three blocking down and down here. Here's our three. Uh, just one number to pick up there, which is a six. Let's do it. Six blocking down here and six across here. Six goes here. It's been a very easy uh, Guardian hard level Sudoku. Uh, oh, sorry. Clicking on the wrong number there. Uh, where are we? Two and four. I'm looking for two blocking across here. Excuse me. Very easy uh, Guardian Sudoku, hasn't it? Not put up any fight, really. Four, four, that's the end of that. Thank you very much. Um, I'll be back uh, quite soon, I guess, with some more Sudoku. Bye-bye.